Hi YouTubers, it's Smoking se 787 again for the uh, second video, second video today. Why am I doing another video today, you may ask? Well, I have something to talk about. Uh, two things I want to talk about. Now you may notice uh, this video is not HD. I have my HD camera out, or my non-HD camera out, because um, this camera is going to be, I mean this video is going to be a pretty long video, so, and unfortunately my HD camera doesn't record longer than uh, 10 minutes, so, um, I have my non-HD camera out, sorry for the quality, um, sorry for not being high quality, but, um, this is the only way I can record this video. Anyway, um, let me just check to see if this is recording. Oh, come on, come on. Yep, it's recording. Okay. Now, the first part of this video is going to be a Pi Talker review. Okay. Now, this tobacco right here, the Five Brothers Pi Tobacco, I have had one bowl so far. Now, usually I, I have, you know, between... Four, five, six, seven, eight bowls before I do a review or more. Because I like to get a general idea of the tobacco, um, the pipe tobacco. Now, the reason I only have one bowl of this tobacco is because this tobacco came stale. Yeah, unfortunately, <clears throat> it came stale. And um, if you look at it right here, let me open it. Um, it's bone dry. It's absolutely bone dry. Well, I wouldn't call it bone dry as in a bone, as in, but I would call it very dry. So unfortunately, this tobacco is probably going, to go, probably going to go in the garbage. And no, I don't send tobacco out to people. I don't do tobacco trades. I don't send people tobacco in the mail. I'm not comfortable with doing that, so even though it's legal. So let's do the review of this tobacco. This tobacco contains one primary tobacco, which is Burley. Now, um, it is a shag cut, which means it is essentially like a cigarette tobacco cut, which means you could essentially use this in cigarette tobacco also. Now, I've had one bowl so far, obviously. Um, the strength of the tobacco, the nicotine content. I would say the nicotine content of this blend is probably medium to full, or medium to strong. This tobacco is famous for being very strong. It's one of the very strong tobaccos out there. If you don't know, pipe tobacco in general has low nicotine content in general. In general. But um, this tobacco is famous for being extremely strong. I think I read somewhere the cigarette with this tobacco, because you can roll some cigarettes, um, has like 3.5 milligrams of nicotine. Um, yeah, it's, I would say, mean to full, full strong. Not as strong as I would imagine it to be. I would imagine it to be very strong. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is it's, it's a good amount of strength. The body. The body is very um, creamy. It's a burly, so it has a nice nutty, burly taste, you know. Uh, creamy, nutty, um, sweet. Um, pretty decent body. Unfortunately, it's very dry, so... You unfortunately taste a lot of lighter fuel, um, if, depending on what kind of lighter you're using. So, unfortunately, it's not very pleasant. Um, the flavor, there's no flavor, there's no additives, no mirror, it's just pure tobacco. Uh, the room now has most non smokers. Burley will smell pretty decent because um, Burley has a very dry, dry leaves taste, or leaves, uh, if that's a word. You know, leaves, like, you know, from a tree. You know, that's, that kind of taste, or s smell, um, rather. So, very pleasant smell. Um, but there are some people out there who just say, I hate the smell of smoke, period. Uh, the tongue bite. It has no bite to it, but if, if you puff too hard, Burley will bite you really badly. Uh, the retro when, when you retro those tobacco through your nose. Very spicy, peppery, as you would expect from any tobacco, because that's what your science, gonna, your science is going to pick up on when you retro hail. Uh, would I suggest recommend to our pipe smoker and our pipe smoker? Yes. I would not recommend this to um, a novice pipe smoker who is um, inexperienced, uh, because this will probably give you a very strong head rush. And most people don't like that. Um, but for someone who's experienced, someone who has a couple of years of, of smoking experience, um, yeah, I would say this is a good tobacco. Um, very um, different, but um, because it's straight burly, has no Virginia, has no Latakia, has no Preak, no Oriental or Turkish, just burly. Uh, unfortunately, this came dry. That's a, that is one of the risks you take when buying um, uh, pouch tobaccos that will come too dry. And unfortunately, it's probably going to be chucked in the garbage because unfortunately, it's when I smoked it, it was nasty. Honestly, I mean, the first, the first, you know, 15 minutes were decent, but um, unfortunately, I just tasted all, I all I tasted, all I tasted was lighter fuel in the last half. So, this tobacco will unfortunately be going to the garbage right now. Um, yep, the garbage. Unfortunately, that's four dollars on the drain. Um, it's really unfortunate, but um. So if you do buy this tobacco, I would recommend uh, getting from a tobacconist um, where it's more fresh, um, where it has not been um, opened. Well, this tobacco has not been opened, but the point is, be careful when buying pouch tobacco in general. In general. Overall rating for this tobacco, I'd probably give it a 10. Hmm, 
it's hard to rate it because it was it was kind of bad because it was dry. Um, I'd probably give it a ten, probably about a seven out of ten. Pretty good. Um, I think I would enjoy smoking it more if it was more moist and more um, not dried out. Now the second topic of this video is going to be about uh, smokeless tobacco. Smokeless tobacco. Now, I want to take some time to explain. It. That's why this video is going to be very long. I want to explain the differences between chew, dip, snus, and nasal snuff. Now, you know, a lot of people commenting like, um, oh, chew is just the same thing as dip, you know, there's no difference, you know, dipping is the same thing as chewing, you know, there's no difference. What is the difference? Okay. And this is the main reason I have the HD camera around, right? <laughs> the non-HD camera around right now is because this video will be very long. And as you know, my HD camera doesn't record longer than 10 minutes, so... Anyway, I wish it did. I mean, I didn't know that when I bought it, or when my dad bought it, so... Anyway, um... So, I'll explain the differences right now between chew, dip, snuff, and snooze. Anyway, chewing tobacco, first of all. Chewing tobacco is long cut leaf tobacco that usually comes in a pouch or a bag. Um, I can't show you because I don't use chewing tobacco. Um, comes in a bag, some popular brands are Red Man, Levi Garrett, you know, Lancaster, um, <sighs> lots of brands. Beetle nut or beech nut, I think it's called. Um, and chewing tobacco is placed between your cheek and your gum. Always between your cheek and gum, never in your lower lip. And you do actually chew it. Now, you don't chew it constantly. You bite on it to release the tobacco juices. Now, that's how you use the product. Um, and the thing about chewing tobacco is... <coughs> excuse me. Um, is you always spit. Um, there's way too much juice that you have to spit with chewing tobacco. Um, and chewing tobacco, a lot of people will say, like Mud Jug said, if you ever watched Mud Jug 1, said, chewing tobacco in general, in general, tastes very similar. Chewing tobacco has a very unique sugar and molasses taste that's applied to the tobacco leaves. Leaves. Um, now, dipping tobacco, also known as moist snuff, or snuff, is um, placed between the lower lip and gum, right here, and you spit with it, but you do have the option if you want to not spit or gut it. And you can also get pouches for, chew for uh, dipping tobacco, which you place between your um, cheek and gum, or your lower lip, or your upper lip. Um, dipping tobacco produces all less saliva when you, when you use it, so... That's why some people don't spit, but it is very nasty to swallow. Not that I have any experience, but um, it will give you really bad heartburn, indigestion, you know. It can actually make you very sick. So, chewing tobacco and dipping tobacco have around the same nicotine content. Um, somewhere between 1 and 4 milligrams of nicotine. Um, and they're by far the most common brands of smokeless tobacco in the United States. Chewing tobacco and dipping tobacco. They are not the same thing. I repeat myself, they are not the same thing. Chewing tobacco comes in a bag or a pouch, dip comes in a tin or can. Some popular brands of dipping tobacco are Copenhagen, Skull, uh, Kayak, um, Timberwolf or Tea Wolf, um, lots of brands. Now, Snus, on the other hand, is very popular in Sweden, um, Scandinavia. And Snus usually comes in portions or pouches. Uh, they're called portions and you place it between the upper lip and gum, and you do not spit. There's also loose snus, which um, you do place in your lower lip and gum, which produces very little saliva, so it's very easy to swallow. Um, <clears throat> now, they do sell American snus, um, such as Marlboro, Camel, and Skull snus. Uh, the thing about that is it's very um, not good in general. Now that I have any experience with it, but um, it's not good in general, very low nicotine content um, compared to Swedish snus, which has between 6 and 22 milligrams of nicotine, while the Camel Marble and Skull snus only has about 1 milligram of nicotine. So, that's snus. Um, so you have snu um, snus, ni snus, chewing tobacco, and dipping tobacco. And snus is also sometimes called wet snuff. Uh, wet snuff. Snus goes here or here. Chewing tobacco always goes here, and, or here, and um, dip goes here, or here if you're using pouches. Now nasal snuff, I can actually show you, 
NATO snuff it comes in a t com comes in tins or little bottles or comes in um you know um you know little things I could show you but I can't I don't can't reach over there so nasal snuff nasal snuff is finely ground tobacco and it looks like this I'm gonna show you right here if this will come in the camera and it looks like this is powder and you actually go up your nose and uh the thing about snuff is that you actually do it similar to how you do cocaine. But obviously it's not cocaine, it's a snuff. So, and nasal snuff is actually the oldest form of tobacco use in Europe. And nasal snuff, um, you do sniff. And nasal snuff in general has low nicotine content, however there, there are a few exceptions like Toe Quit and uh, Tom Buck. So, now nasal snuff is obviously sniffed up the nose, as I just said. Um, nasal snuff is also called dry snuff because you do, it's dry, it's not moist, you know, so. Now nasal snuff is predominantly used in England and, um, you know, places where, um, it was very popular, you know, the, with French, French and uh, English monarchies back in the day. So, nasal snuff, the way you use it, it produces an aroma in your nose. Like right now I'm getting a little bit of a chocolate aroma in my nose because this is delicious with chocolate. Very good snuff. Now, chewing tobacco on the other hand, you get a, since with dip, you know, and chew, you get a very sweet sensation in your mouth. That you're using with your mouth, so it's still with snooze. So, to sum it all up, chewing tobacco placed here, chewed, dipping tobacco placed here, and hell there, you don't chew it. A lot of people think you chew skull or you chew Copenhagen. You don't. It just sits there in your lower lip. Um, uh, we call it um, snooze. You just hold it there, just like dip. Um, except you don't spit usually, unless you're using wet snooze or, or, or um, loose snooze. Now, and this is enough. You when you're done with it, you would take um, a handkerchief, so like, such as this. I'm not going to just blow this out right now, but, um, and you would actually go and blow it out. It's like you would blow it out, a snot, a snot, or a booger. So, that's what I wanted to talk about. There's a lot of comments like saying, oh, chew is the same thing as dip, there's no difference. You know, you see it all the time on the anti-smoking or anti-tobacco videos. Chew, same thing as dip, you know, exact same thing. Nope, they're different. So, that's about it. So, I just wanted to get that out. And, um, anyway, that's about it. Peace and peace later. I know this video's been long. Comment, rate, subscribe, personal message, we have stuff to be a response. It's supposed to be later. Bye.